Coach told me about this 4-5 yesterday at UL. We've watched you kind of bully some, some little DBs with your strength and some of the other attributes. When you can get out there and show the speed component too, how big is that for you at this time heading into the summer and, and some of these opportunities at college camps? It's good because you never know what I do. It's like I can beat you on the run, I can beat you with physicality. So it's basically like a kill kill situation. You feel that guy? Your quarterback, Eli, was just talking about y'all's work together the last couple of years and seeing you progress, even kind of the, the mental side of the game and the connection that y'all have to kind of, you know, when to, to drift a little bit maybe this way and, and help him out. Take me through some of that. Just what has been some of the, the in-game development for you and some of the things you've picked up along the way to be a more complete receiver? Right, so me and Eli, we have been working. Every offseason, we come to the field, work for like two or three hours, work on every route we got. It's basically we're getting our chemistry right. Saying how if you throw it this way, you can fade that way. Throw it that way, you fade that way. Just all types of stuff. We work on it. And then we talk on the phone. We go to his house. We meet and we just watch your film and stuff like that. With the guys y'all lost from the receiving core last year, and, and a Kenson and a Chris are kind of I guess the headline guys. Y'all bring back you and Cam, and you see Luke coming up, and you see Tyson coming up. How good is this group like, yet good. again? It's good. We got options. Chris, Chris and Kenson, they moved up. We're going to bigger level. So we do got kids stepping up, helping us, and we do got a lot of options. So it's like all over the field. You can't just count on one person. We got options there with six, seven receivers. You've seen some more colleges take notice since the last time we did an interview. How has that piece been going for you? What are some of the schools you hear from those? What have been those conversations? Uh, ULL, Tulane, and, and Tech, LA Tech, have been keeping contact with me a bunch. It's been nice. It's been going to camp, showing my face, it's been you know, doing good at different kind of camps and stuff like that. So it's putting myself out there, basically. Do you prioritize the idea of staying close to home? Those are three of the in-state schools. Is that something that you would be intrigued by is the geographical component? Or if not, what are some of the factors that as you look at schools are top of mind that you're kind of asking some of these coaches and trying to figure out about them? Uh, what I ask coach, it was first question. Uh, I, it don't matter about in-state or out-state. I'm just going for whatever best for me, whatever education I get. And, uh, and then the factors that you are kind of deciding, what are the things that stand out to oh, you? All right, yeah. All right, look, I like, when I go on campus, I'm looking for the coaches. I look how far everybody you walk around, everybody speaking to you, whatever. I don't like going on the campus and just be dead. So I like, like, you know, chemistry with all that type of stuff. And then education, you look at education. Then you look at what receivers coming in, what receivers leaving, how many seniors, sophomore stuff like that. 